Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> Welcome to the Table Rush Talk Show. Thank you. you. Yes. And Maria, you are an amazing photographer. Wow, well, thank you. And you are new to the Encinitas, California area, correct? I am. From New York. Yes. Fantastic. And so, what? How does somebody leave the Russell Bustle of New York and end up in Encinitas as a photographer? For just that reason. Okay. Um, I spent a really long time in New York, and New York is amazing. But I actually started traveling out to Encinitas on just to come for vacation. Okay. And fell in love with this place. Um, and I think like the older I got, the more I was drawn to nature photography. Yeah. So when I came here, I really started diving into just nature and um, really just kind of like working on my creative expression through that and just posting my work. Like you know, I had trying to build my clients up, but at the same time, really embracing, like, just the beauty of this place. Yeah. Um, and then through that, I think, like, just showing my work, people started finding me. Yeah. Um, and so it was kind of like the, that lesson you always hear, like, trust in the journey, yeah. do what makes you passionate, like, follow your heart, follow your dreams. I know this sounds so cliche. But it's so good. But, it's, but that's here totally, you are. In, yeah. I mean, totally, totally. So, yeah, just by, like, putting my work out there, it kind of, like, brought the right people, mm. the right clients to me. Cool. So tell us what you do. So photography is, like, super broad and big, but you totally. clearly have a niche and are thriving within it. Tell us what, tell us what you do. Yeah, so... Um, I actually do a little bit of documentary work. Okay. I have an ongoing project in Rwanda. Wow. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. And um, that was actually featured in National Geographic. Wow. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, maybe like a 20, 30-year project because I go to Rwanda quite often. Um, so... What are you documenting in Rwanda? So... Yeah, so the project is called Growing Health, and it's about these permagarden projects that are basically teaching families how to grow organic food, medicinal herbs, um, oh. planting trees so that they, in times of like desperation, they have their own food. And it's women-led, which is really amazing. So yeah. there's a group of women that are kind of spearheading this project in a certain district in Rwanda. Wow. So I've been documenting this. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. And then I'm just going to, it's kind of loud in here, so I'm just going to totally. switch this forward just a little, not to be intrusive, no, but, no, totally. but to be cognizant of, of, of the, the volume. This is amazing. A great I know. turnout. Um, really you're, amazing. You're obviously photographer, photographing it for um, Maria. We're going to get back to the Rwanda thing. I don't want to skip that, but yeah, I do no, want to grab no. this magazine. Totally. Because we're at the um, Mind, Body, Soul, San Diego, California, spring release party, if I've said that right. Totally. Totally. Yeah, good, good, <laughs> good. And for super fun, not only are you um, taking photos of everybody, you took the cover, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and then, uh, I did. And then Amy is also in the middle here somewhere, but she you did is, that. yeah. Yep. And then, not only that, but I believe you, yeah, there you are yeah. right there. You're in it. <laughs> you're, you're on the inside cover. I Mar am. Yes. Maria Russo yes. is on the inside cover. Um, so congratulations on that. Thank That's you. super fun. Thank you. Um, so, so, yeah, I was going to be remiss if we skipped that. So I did want to say that. Super important. Super yes. important. Yes. But let's get back to Rwanda. Yeah. So how long have you been working on the Rwanda documentary so far? So I would say I've been going there since 2014 okay. and was just loosely documenting in the beginning. Um, and then I would say the last, like, two years that we were able to travel because the pandemic yes. obviously stopped that. Um, I seriously started documenting this project. 
So yeah, so I do a little bit of documentary work, lifestyle, brand yeah. work. Brand work. Magazines. Magazines, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got Sant Eyewear right over yes. there. I don't know if we can see it in the frame, but yep. uh, Sant Eyewear. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, if I understand, you are doing, uh, you're doing a lot of photo work for him. Yeah. Posting on, doing his social media work. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> um, but tell me about that. So Tom, I know Tom very well. He's a brilliant designer. Everybody should go to SantEyewear.com and get his 3D printed glasses. But Tom's very particular, and. Um, Yes, and it took Tom a while to find a social media manager, and he picked you. Yeah, I feel very honored. <laughs> yeah, and I think um, maybe talk to that. Like, he's, he's very style conscious. He's very... What, why would you say you're a good fit? I guess that's my question. So I think the interesting thing with art is that we all create very differently, and I have a really distinct style. So I feel like with my style, it's kind of like you're going to love it or you're going to be like, not for me. Okay. Um, so I think that that draws the right type of clients to me. Yeah. And I, like I said, I do a lot of putting my work out there, a lot of outreach. Um, and I think that because my work is so distinct, it attracts certain clients. Yeah. And Tom, I guess, really liked what I was doing. <laughs> Which could you, would you, could you put, uh, like, do you have a, could you describe your style, or is yeah, that like an ignorant no, question for me? Absolutely, yeah. so I'm really drawn to creating imagery with a lot of darkness and a little bit of light, um, and then... Is that like metaphorically and yeah, literally? Absolutely, both? Okay. yeah, so, I need shifts, so during the pandemic, my photos were really moody. Even if it was just covering something beautiful or something light, I really like to keep that element of darkness because I think that through darkness comes light. Yes. Um, so I do quite a bit of balancing with that. And typically a lot of commercial work or lifestyle work can be really bright and beautiful, right? Yes. Um, but I also think my work has a place as well because it does sort of emulate that feeling of what life is really like, mm. right? Like, there I are... Love it. We need darkness to have yeah. light and vice versa. So, yeah, I would say it's more moody. I like it. So it would give a... I think in the social media world or the marketing world, we're always shining the... We're making it as shiny as we can so to capture, like, the the moodiness and the some of the grit, Really perhaps. raw. Yeah, yeah. rawness. I yeah. love that. Um, if people want to find you and look at your work, where are they going to find Maria Russo? The best place is Instagram. <laughs> and my handle is Maria, M-A-R-I-A, A, and then A again, U-G-U-S-T. So Maria A. August. My middle name is August. So. Oh, so Maria, so say it again one more it's time. Maria A. August. So three A's in the middle. Oh, Maria <laughs> A. August. Yeah. That's your handle. That's my handle. Love it. Fantastic. Um, let's see. Um, back to Rwanda. So you've got some stuff that's gone into Nat National Geographic or yeah. Nat Geo. Yeah. And when you say a 20 or 30 year project, does that mean you're going to go back every year, every six months? You're going to keep the photographing it? documenting yeah, absolutely. it. absolutely. So a lot of photographers, I think, that take the art really seriously, they take on these really long-term projects. Yeah. And that is because you want to really be able to explore the subject that you're photographing. Um, and the best way to do that is to get to know it. And you can't really get to know something or the facets, the complexities, especially when you're dealing with the human elements. Um, you really have to take the time and the only thing that can do that is if you actually do this over a long term duration yeah. so I say and not some, some photographers it's five years it's ten years you really have to kind of feel it out um, but I do see myself going back you know hopefully if I can make it till I'm 70 
Yeah. So, Fantastic. Yeah. I love it. What a great project. And I always like to ask, so what would be the top three things you would say to a fledgling photographer that's wanting to break into this content creation space to photog photograph people to, you know, support a brand like Sant Eyewear or something like that? What are your top three tips? Yeah, I think the most important thing is to follow your artistic instinct. I think the easy thing to do or sometimes we kind of feel like the pressure to do what everyone else is doing. Yes. And I think that actually hurts you. So just follow like what feels right to you and the right people, the right brands, the right clients will find you. I love that. That's a great tip. I think there's so much stimulus coming at us telling us how to do things, what we should do, how we should yeah, absolutely. present ourselves. Way too when, much. Way too much when in reality it's like how can we stay true to ourselves and can we also go the distance I don't know if go the distance is the right word but like it, sometimes it might take a little bit longer to build but maybe it we've got more longevity. Yeah. but I think the reward is greater awesome so that's a number one tip any other like any like a tip two and three yeah, I think knowing the technical side is really important. Okay. Um, so it's definitely worth investing a lot of time. Um, I think the online world in terms of education is really valuable. Yeah. Um, I took a lot of great online education courses for photography. Okay. Um, Seven Photo Agency, if you're interested in documentary work, okay. that's a great place to start. Um, and I think even if you're not interested in documentary work, there's facets of it that can apply to all areas of photography. Yeah. So education. Never stop learning because, you know, as you know, it's always changing. The yeah. technicalities are always changing. So. I love that. I think that's great advice. I would also add, and maybe you can validate this, don't let not knowing enough slow you down, though. Oh, like, totally. Jump in the mix and totally. just get after get it, but there. just learn. But just learn and make yourself available, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Do it every day. Do it every day. Yeah. Cool. And number three? Number three. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I think it would be that. Just immersing yourself. If, you, if it's something you're really passionate about, yeah. immerse yourself in it. Yeah. And it could be temporary. Maybe it's just a hobby or maybe it's something that will grow to be, you know, financially rewarding. Yeah. But I think that it's worth, anything that you enjoy is worth doing well, or at least yeah. attempting to do well. Yeah. And so diving into it and really, art is just, it's amazing. And it's endless, right? Like yes. What we can learn is infinite. So that's a really beautiful thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, Maria, I want to let you get back to your job. Thank you. Of, um, of photographing this amazing event. Yeah, um, yeah. Again, we're at the... Uh, Mind, Body, Soul, uh, Spring Release, Mind, Body, Soul Magazine. Maria's on the inside cover. Awesome, great style, ton of Thank fun. You. Thank you so much Thank for you. jumping in lovely. the fray and uh, cheers. Cheers. Okay, Thank Maria. You. Awesome.